All the uh, content around this talk can be found on that short URL. So I'll give you a second to write that down because it is one of those multi-link things. So it'll open up multiple links from all the content of this talk, if you want to. Otherwise, just tweet the ass out of me and tell me I'm short and look like an umpa if you want to. <laughs> so I want to talk today about the things which reach beyond the current discourse. I want to kind of provoke you and hopefully ask better questions of this community. There's a wonderful community that I've been part of for over 10 years now. I feel old saying shit like that. Um, but I'm totally humbled by it. It is a fantastic community. It's taken me to five continents. It's helped me to develop training courses for people I can't even believe that I was sat in the same room as, people like the UNICEF and the Gates Foundation and the BBCs of this world. Uh, I've traveled the length and breadth of the whole kind of world and just enjoyed every moment of it. Although, the sector that I serve, the social media sector, needs to go a little bit beyond what we're currently talking about at the moment. And I want you to kind of stop and take a little bit of a refrain, if you like, and understand that social media is a lot more colorful than most people make out. There's so much to this stuff. It is far more rich and more diverse and more human than in a lot of the discourse out there. And that's what I want to advocate today. Just working hard on getting those numbers rather than crafting true connections. We're not really serving ourselves, let alone our community. Um, as well as we could. And I just love this quote from a great guy called Jeff uh, Hermelin van Baker. Uh, I can't understand his name, but he's best minds of the generation are thinking about how to make people click ads, ads, and that just sucks. I really believe that. It's kind of sad, in a sense. So how might we make this community and industry better, if you like? That's my charge. This is a little kind of graph that I drew for a, a video game company which we worked with uh, a couple of years ago now, which uh, ended up uh, having the fastest growing games title across Europe. So yeah, I was doing media marketing with them. But I was really trying to get them to give something first, to understand that the community needs to be served before you extract value from it. Say that again, community needs to be served before you extract value from it. So many people are throwing up content and saying, look at me without saying, hey, I can see you. I like what you're doing. How many times in this room have you commented on a YouTube film or retweeted something or on a blog? You know, we have to serve the community before we ask from it. And that's what I really love about this. It's more than just the numbers. And we need a different content model. You know, Peter Drucker said the difference between doing th things right and doing the right things. Don't know who Peter Drucker is? Look him up. There's Google for stuff like that. And, and the, the thing that I quote a lot is Facebook at the moment. It's wonderful. It's a billion people. If that was a street, you'd want to be a shop there, right? You'd want something, a presence there. If that was a street with a billion people on it. The problem most people don't get is that there's a billion people there, not a shop. It's not a mall. It's a street. It's a Mardi Gras. They're there with their friends to hang out, not to buy your stuff. Okay, and I've been advising clients against Facebook for the last three to four years, which goes, totally goes against the current discourse. And that's fine, and I want you to challenge me back at the end of this, please. Like, I'm trying really hard to transition out of social media at the moment. I've got a proper grown-up job and everything. I'm now a business designer, and I go to work, and I put on shirts and stuff. <laughs> but I've been doing this stuff for over a decade, and it's in my DNA, and I have a big digital lens. But I do see a lot of similarities and a lot of things we can learn and parallels, if you like, from the design thinking community and this one. And that is one big one is about empathy, okay? This is a graphic I threw up for a client um, to try and get him to think about the different types of communities that are out there. In other words, they're not all the same. And that, empathize, uh, sorry, that empathy that we're trying to gain through what we're doing online, I just don't see a lot of people doing it at all, even thinking in that way, even describing what they're doing in those terms, that empathy. Because we need to understand the users, the clients, the communities, the customers, whoever you call them, much, much better before we start creating content for them. The signal to noise ratio out there is kind of really weighted towards the noise, right? We need to get better signals. Um, I used to do a hell of a lot of podcasting old school stuff, still do it, I don't care. Um, and, and about four years ago, I interviewed the, the head of, of, of marketing for Kodak and the head of marketing for McDonald's. And I interviewed them separately, but they both said the same thing about social media and their, their, their take on it, and that is that they spent a whole year listening before they did anything with social media. A whole year. 
Now, that's an investment that goes beyond kind of most people's strategy uh, when it comes to social media. But I think it's really important because they were actively listening. And that active, that word just to put in front of listening is so important to get here. So I want to ask you a couple of questions. I want to ask things like, what if Charles Darwin flickered his notes? What if, I don't know, like um, Einstein Google docked his studies, right? What if Gandhi tweeted? What if Helen Keller, to take it another way, had access to the social technologies or the haptic technologies? How she would have communicated much quicker, much faster? Wow. What if Lincoln podcasted his present presidency or even Jimi Hendrix had SoundCloud, right? You know they would have taken a different route than marketing. You know they would have taken it much more richer than what we're currently trying to do with these platforms, okay? And we need to ask those types of questions that not only serve us, but also go beyond the shallow. I hate to say it, and I know, I know I'm trying to be audacious here, but then again, if we're not being audacious, what's the point of turning up, right? So I want to ask a couple of questions last couple of questions. The one is of audience participation. Hands up who's got a blog. Right, okay. Just keep your hands up. Hands up who's got more than one blog. Two blogs. Keep your hands up. More than two. More than two, three. Who's got three blogs? Okay, here we go. Who's got four? The threes. Put your back hands up. We need to create a self-help group. Uh, okay, I've got about seven on the go at the moment. And the reason is because I use them differently. I use them to collaborate with people in different countries on project ideas. I also use them like folders that you would use on your computer. Okay, they're just different ways of using these tools. And, and playing around with this stuff is where you extract the goodness. You know, we need to get on RSS. We need to start mashing up those RSS with the if this then that and make the web dance for us. Okay, and if you don't know what all those stuff are, you should. Okay, because there's wonderful things out there you can do with this stuff. And you can make it work for us or you. And we must practice. We must learn. We must cultivate. We must, I don't know, get a little bit remix. You know, we must find. We must polish. We must have a lot of fun. And we must trial and explore and listen. Go back to that listen because there's no such thing as a social media expert. Don't know if anybody told you. And you're not one if you think it's on your bio. I've been doing this for longer than you have, I'm sorry to say. Not that that holds me in any way, shape or form, but I always say I'm an expert student in social, and that's a great way to approach this stuff because it's always gonna change. So you have to become an expert student, and students practice, right? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Still gonna get that.